She's outrageous, controversial, brash, unpredictable. Courtney Love, the widow of one of Rock's crown princes, tells it like it is. Now as she rehearses for a forthcoming album, Courtney tells us about rising from the ashes and starting over. Courtney Love, tonight's Inside Story. Give me a hundred dollars! She parties with Hollywood's A-list. Cruise and cruise where I'm just gonna gossip <laughs> all over each other. Her career is on fire with an $18 million universal recording contract on the table. And as for her home life, Courtney Love is a single mom successfully raising her nine-year-old daughter, Frances Bean. She's incredibly beautiful. And um, I just sometimes follow her around the house and go, what is that like to be here? At 37, Hollywood's most controversial star is finally starting a new chapter in her life, a chapter that could be titled Strength and Survival. Oh, I'm strong. I'm a very strong person. It's a welcome relief from her troubled past that was scarred with the suicide of her husband, Nirvana lead singer Kurt Cobain, and the drug battle that almost cost Courtney her own life. Hey. I go to a therapist, that's necessary. Today, Courtney is finally able to face her past, and the man who was able to bring her through those dark times was Courtney's former boyfriend, Oscar nominee, Edward Norton. First, I was, I was high, and then I met Edward and um, Norton, who was a real Herculean, you know, savior, and came to my rescue, and I came to his rescue. His mother was dying, and I was dying. So he had the confidence and cockiness to love me and to love my daughter. And he got me out of Seattle, and he got me um, into rehab. It is this matter-of-fact attitude that has helped Courtney deal with her past. Courtney tells us that it was during this period in the mid-90s where she met Edward on the set of The People vs. Larry Flint. It was the film's director, Milos Forman, who demanded she give up the drugs and go cold turkey. No easy task. Courtney now looks back at the tough times and laughs. He goes, well, can you stop? And I said, well, I gotta go to the hospital. And he goes, can you lose 20 pounds and stop? Now imagine stopping drugs and losing 20 pounds at the same time. I lost like 30 pounds and quit doing heroin. Courtney says she's now clean and has been off drugs for five years. However, discussing its dangers is something Courtney feels is important to share with her young daughter. She knows what cocaine is because she went to a fashion show and she said there's a lot of people with this white stuff around their mouths and they're talking too much. I'm like, that's cocaine. Well, what does it do? It's like really evil coffee and fashion people do it to stay skinny. I mean, she's nine. It's like, you know, the more literature I read, you got to tell them early and especially if they come from a background where there was drug use, she knows what heroin is. She's also a person who flushes my cigarettes down the toilet and is very square. But square is hardly the way to describe Courtney, always one to raise eyebrows, whether it's what she's wearing or who she's with. One of the most salacious reports accused her of having a one-night stand with Russell Crowe the night of this year's Golden Globes. I just hung out with him and we drank a lot of tequila and um, we wrote a bunch of poetry and we talked about being buddies. I was really feeling sad and I thought that he He's a really sad guy, and I'm a kind of really sad girl, and um, our sadness really matched up as buddies. And, and he said, you know, you really need a buddy. You need a man friend. And I said, yeah, I do. And I said, you need a girlfriend that doesn't want to screw you. He's cool and he's sad. He's got a grieving, beautiful heart, and I like his heart as a, as yeah. a friend. Tomorrow, part two of our interview with Courtney Love. She talks about the loss.